Why did you have a lot of kids? Well, I was married. This is what some women will tell relatives and others when they're questioned about why did they have a lot of kids? Whether you had a piece of paper to have a bunch of kids or not, that is not really what really matters. What matters is, ma'am, what type of mother were you? That's the bottom line. Were you somebody that was leaving your kids in a store when they were seven years old and under, 10 years old and under? And see, the reason I'm bringing this up is this, y'all. When you're building friendships and relationships with people, especially other women, listen to the things that other people have said that they have said to even them so that you can evaluate why people treat you the way that they do. Okay, so this is the way I view people. For me, if you got six kids and you on crack, you got six kids. If you got 10 kids and you on crack, you got 10 kids. If you have 10 kids and you were married and had all of them when you were married, you got 10 kids. Bottom line, if you got 10 kids and you were not married, you got 10 kids. You got six kids. You got five kids. However many kids or children that a woman gave birth to. So at the end of the day, all of these examples that I just gave, these are all just mothers that have a bunch of children. Or if you want to say, have more than one. That's basically the bottom line, y'all. So what happens is when you're building friendships and relationships, especially with other women, and you kind of get some insight of their views, what happens is that's the part that brings judgment, okay? Because they're not really judging themselves. What somebody is doing, okay, if one of my children were to say to me, well, mom, you had a bunch of kids. And I say, well, I was married or I was married when I had some of them. Because some of y'all, you've been in both situations. You you was married when you had some, and then you were not married. Each person's situation is different. You can look at it morally, but just from a logical standpoint, this is just proof here, y'all. From a logical standpoint, a piece of paper is not a requirement to have any children. You can make it a requirement and you can make it part of your morals. However, people were having children before paper existed. People was having children when they was taking things and writing on rocks, y'all. What makes children is intercourse that's what makes children not a piece of paper or none of that y'all i'm i'm working on this room and i got my device in this stand so that's why you see the wall i've, I've been really really dig, digilent <sighs> diligently y'all i'm sorry diligently working on um one of these bedrooms so i apologize and if you hear in the air that's the window so What I'm finding in my life that I'm doing lately is getting hypocrites out of my life. And then, you know, when you have um, friendships, and I got to upload these videos that I have stored. One day I'll get it done. It's called the Gaslighting Friends Series. And I spoke about this before. And so what I found would happen is this particular friend she would also 
tell me that people shouldn't be having kids outside of marriage and things like that, ma'am, don't leave your kids at the store. Now, this was many, many years ago, but see, when I be listening to these kind of hypocrites, I be like, oh my God, they are totally missing the whole point of what's really important. It, it's irrelevant to a woman like me that raised her kids, the last half of my kids unmarried. It's irrelevant to me whether another woman was married when she had the kids when she lacks the common sense and on purpose leaves her children in a store when they're seven years old and under. And I don't talk to people like that. Like what I do is I try to control my temperament enough not to say that to somebody. I'm just mainly like venting on this video. The best thing to do is just to get the person out of your life. You don't need that kind of hypocrisy. And so what narcissistic people do is they try to validate a reason why they did what they did. And we all can do that in many ways, y'all. But at the end of the day, when you are a woman and you had a bunch of babies, you had a bunch of babies. That's it. Ain't nobody caring if you was married, unmarried. Don't nobody care if you don't know who their daddies are. That's another thing. Let's talk about that. Judgment for women that don't know who the father is. That's another thing that was judged highly. So this woman's better because she knows who all her baby daddies are or who the fathers of her children are. But this woman's less than because she doesn't know who the child's father is or had to find out later. It don't make no difference. Both of them got two or three kids. So see, the bottom line is at the end of the day, they're both mothers. It may be a little unfortunate for the child, but it's no difference. This child may know who their father is, but the father does nothing for them. This child may not know who the father is, but they have a good stepfather in their life. So who's really the better child in the better situation? The child that knows who their father is, but father does nothing for him? Or the child where his mama didn't know who his daddy was or her daddy was, but had a great stepfather in his or her life? So what we need to do is at the end of the day, this is where it might help to have some kind of black and white thinking in this area to prevent this judgment. Just consider them mothers. That's it. Stop caring about if somebody was married or if they was unmarried. However, if someone is specifically pointing out and trying to make a big deal of their status that they were in, when they had all these children, that's most likely a hypocrite. And what does the Bible say that God hates the most? A hypocrite. Get these people up out of your life. With this particular friend, um, I'm not speaking to this lady anymore. However, think about how sick this is, right? Now, you know, y'all, I ain't got no little babies no more. My youngest is a teenager, okay? The baby, the last baby that I gave birth to that's still at home is a teenager. Picture this. One of your friends constantly reminding you that you shouldn't be having kids out of wedlock when you're not even going to be having any more children. And the reason I'm bringing that up is this. You want to deal with people where that's the past. I don't need no woman's permission to be telling me when I should have kids, when I shouldn't, if I should be married or if I should be unmarried. Because guess what? This woman ain't taking care of any of my children. 
and was barely able to take care of her own. That's why she left them in a store when they was little, y'all. Her children turned out just fine, but there is a Lord. She need to be grateful that her kids are still alive. The appropriate thing to do is to give that child to a parent. If you can't deal with that child, don't live, leave them in a store. Give them away. Um, divorce the dad. Allow the dad to raise the child. Give the child to their father. Give them to their grandmother. That's what a more so of a decent mother would do. So be careful with people being judgmental, y'all. Get that out of your life. I got a lot of videos to upload. I apologize that they are not here yet. I have been working very diligently and getting just some chores done, y'all, getting some projects done and things like that. I love y'all so, so much. Please like, share, and subscribe and be aware of the hypocrite narcissists. I think that's what I'm going to name this video, the hypocrite narcissist. I gave you a pure great example pure great example and it could be vice versa for men I mean men you could be being judged because you got five baby mamas well this gentleman over here he was married when he had all of his kids maybe you got a married guy friend that judges you I mean, it ain't really none of their business. You want to deal with people that have boundaries, y'all. Not somebody that's thinking they better because they was married when they had their kids. At the end of the day, the woman, she can tell her kids whatever she want to tell her kids. Oh, I was married when I had y'all. She still popped out a bunch of babies. Just like any other woman that had them when they weren't married, she still popped out a bunch of babies before she was ready to. That's why she left two of them in a store and walked off. I won't get into the details of what happened and they ended up safe, but it wasn't because of her. Okay. And continue to do this same type of behavior with other family members many, many years later. Not caring if a grandchild was outside alone and the parents weren't home. Things like that, y'all. Get narcissistic hypocrites out of your life because a real relationship is not based on a superiority thing. It's based on a friendship and when you hear these type of things that are said, now you got insight of how people think of you. When really they have no right to think of you like that, they need to be more evaluating themselves. I have very little respect for any woman that would have the audacity to judge women that were unmarried when they didn't even have the maternal instinct and mothering skills to if they were that annoyed and irritated with their children that were under seven years of age they didn't even have enough decent loving common sense as a mother to at least call somebody to come pick the kids up leave the kids in a store with no parent or anybody but then have the nurse to brag about the fact that they were married when they had them that type of mom shouldn't have had kids married or unmarried. But at the end of the day, the woman popped out a bunch of babies. Just like a single woman would pop out a bunch of babies and not be married. Stop choosing or stop how can I say this? Stop um, Stop assessing motherhood based on if somebody had a piece of paper, if somebody know who their baby daddy is. Don't assess motherhood like that because you got plenty of children where the mother knows who the father is, but because she didn't like that father, 
she abuses that child. So the child might have been better off with a mother that didn't know who the hell the daddy was. I mean, so so you got to stop the judgment. And at the end of the day, for now on, view people this way, y'all. Either they got a bunch of kids or they don't. If they got a bunch of kids, put all of them in the same ballpark because they all had a bunch of children. Once you start trying to figure out who was married, who was unmarried, who was this, who was that, that's where you're crossing boundaries and acting narcissistic yourself and judging where maybe you should not be judging. Judgment is not discernment as well. We want to be more discerning, not judgmental. Please like, share, and subscribe. Happy Sunday, y'all. I love y'all so much. Thank you. Bye.